Donald Trump isn't satisfied with putting America first on Earth. He also wants American supremacy in space. It is not enough to merely have an American presence in space. We must have American dominance in space. In March, Trump called space a war-fighting domain. He ordered the Pentagon to begin working on creating a sixth branch of the U.S. military, the Space Force. What are you gaining by creating the Space Force? You know, what problem are you solving? Leroy Chow is a former U.S. astronaut who went into space three times, including a stint of more than half a year on the International Space Station. The U.S. Air Force prowls the skies for the Pentagon and is responsible for U.S. military efforts in outer space. Chow wonders if a new military branch would just create more bureaucratic hex and unnecessary turmoil. I would argue that the assets and capabilities of the United States through the Air Force are already uh, the preeminent space power. So what are you gaining again by uh, creating a separate space force? It's a question that Chow and the world's other space powers would like answered. Russia has a storied space agency and China's space program has made a meteoric rise. Sir, our speed is increasing. In fiction, mankind's missions to space were supposed to be Star Trek not Star Wars. The same is true in real life. The 1967 Outer Space Treaty states missions to space should be for peaceful purposes. Only the Trump administration is openly talking about testing weapons or conducting military exercises in space, or worse, making it the next battlefield. I would be very shocked and, and unhappy if we were to go and, and throw away some of the treaties that we have that have controlled the spread of, of some of the weapons in space. Nations with space programs are working to develop space-based weapons that work within the treaty parameters. But Russian leaders say the Trump administration is going too far, saying militarization of space is, quote, a path to disaster. And if the U.S. proceeds, Russia vows a tough response. Sean Calebs, CGTN in Washington.